everyone, and welcome back to Table Topics. Today we are talking about celebrity disasters, or rather, disastrous celebrities. You know who they are. Amy Winehouse, my favorite, Britney Spears. Uh, we're going to talk about whether any press is bad press. You know what I'm talking about. Like, you know, uh, walking out of a limo and you see Flashing. everything, mm -hmm. etc. Good, bad, many celebrities stay in the press forever by virtue of doing nothing but being bad. So ladies, what do you think? Well, I think that for most celebrities, it's a choice of how public you want to live. Because there are famous people, for example, Shania Twain, who, you know, you would say, I would say she's at the front of the line in terms of fame, yet her family life has made, remained completely hidden. I don't even think I've seen pictures of her kids. Beyonce has also tried really hard to keep her family and her a whole relationship out of the limelight completely. So I yeah. think it's obviously it's possible to do, but I think it takes a lot of hard work as well. The stuff that these celebs have been going through, I don't think anyone would do that on purpose. There's no way. We just saw that MTV documentary about Britney, um, and she was going through real psychological problems. She's seeing, you know, a psychiatrist uh, separated from her kids. This cannot be fabricated. The spins are, of course, fabricated. Um, I but think they have PR people who are, you know, exactly. on top of it. But these are young women who have a lot of fame, a lot of power, but they're also growing up. So I think that probably having a lot of money and growing up at the same time can sometimes lead to a big disaster if you don't know how to handle it. But we love gossip. I mean, think about it on a completely uh, normal level. It, think about high school. Oh my God, did you hear that she at the party and wore this with this guy's boyfriend? We love that. You'd rather talk about that any day than like, oh, so um, I went to the library and it was good. My boyfriend's amazing and everything's great. You want to hear about disaster and failure. What about celebrities that are being hounded, hounded by the paparazzi? Because you get to a certain level of fame and then you represent a paycheck to paparazzis mm -hmm. and their family. They're painted as being evil by people who, you know, want to be left alone. What do you think? I just got back from L.A. yesterday, the mecca of celeb Hollywood land. Um, we drove around Beverly Hills, drove around Rodeo Drive, and obviously you're going to see some celebrities. I yeah. think that, you know, it's their job. And it, I've worked for, you know, an entertainment news show where we loved getting the emails that something had happened because that was our job because there are people to watch it. There's this food chain that celebrities are at the top of and we pay to watch them and put them at the top and then we want to see everything. It, we don't want to just see the films, we want to see it all. So I don't know, I don't think they're evil. I think that it's a job that exists and as long as we buy these magazines, which um, I own, then, <laughs> then it's their job. We perpetuate it. Well, I'm sure there's like a comfort level, but when you're going through a crisis in your life, when you're going through a meltdown, and you need privacy, then it's then, I think, when you'll, you're going to have some tension. Between yourself and the paparazzi. Right. You know, Lindsay Lohan, she's an interesting uh, person who falls into the category, cer certainly, of uh, disastrous celebrities, especially with recent blowouts with Samantha Ronson, her on and off again girlfriend, uh, who at first, the big thing was we didn't know if she was her girlfriend or not, and right. God, did we love to hear about that. <laughs> uh, so when early on in her career, I saw an interview with her where she was asked about the paparazzi and what it's like to all of a sudden be followed and be famous. And she said, well, I'm thankful for it because I'm obviously asking for it. I'm mm -hmm. thankful for any attention that my fans want to give me. There well, are certain go-to spots where you absolutely know paparazzi is going to be there. They milk it. That's what they want. Well, I also find it interesting how um, Perez Hilton, for example, he seems to almost decide who should be hated and who should be loved. On his website, there are certain people who I feel haven't really done anything. Jessica Alba, um, she likes to hide her face from a lot of photos, and he writes a lot of negative comments about her just because she doesn't want her photo taken. And he now, loves Lady Gaga. And he so loves Lady Gaga. Anything that she does, he like. He even dug up photos from her high school yearbook and says, oh, she's beautiful. Now, do you yeah. think that he creates the status for whether or not we should like or dislike these celebrities? Well, <laughs> he is an editorial voice that has gotten much success based on his website. 
And you know what? He, his career is based on their careers, but he also, the, me, the relationship between the media and stars is a completely reciprocal one. So at the beginning of your career, when you'd love for a fan to recognize you, oh, hey, girls, you guys were on Table Topic, so can I take your picture? Uh, it's different for many people than later on when you're trying to, like, kick heroin and your boyfriend dumped you and your makeup's streaming down your face and someone wants to take your photo. But I think it's how you portray yourself. It's what you ask for. Um, but then once you start to spiral out of control, it's almost, well, because they're out of control, maybe they can't even ask for help or they can't even, you know. Yeah, I think yeah. it's behavior. If your behavior is out of whack, it's not normal, it's going to attract attention. Even if you're a normal person and you kind of go crazy, chances are if someone catches it, you're going to be on YouTube next week. So whether you're not your celebrity, I don't think it matters anymore. In fact, you're launched into being a celebrity mm -hmm. by crazy behavior these days. It's a responsibility of anyone who is in the limelight, a public, public figure. Do they have the responsibility to always remain put, like to be put together, to always be well spoken? I mean, you see all these little slips that have happened with a variety of celebrities where they've said something, an anti whatever slur. Um, is it their responsibility now to always put forward their best foot, or can I they just be people? I think it's, it's their choice. Mm -hmm. It's your choice. If you want to go public and with all your laundry, go ahead. But you're going to have consequences. And just know that when you sign on to fame, that there is a cost. Well, I think part of us, when we see people have downfalls, we think, wow, they're human. But when we see them have a redemption, it's like the story of the underdog. Oh, yeah. You're applauding. And I think, you know, watching Britney come up on top these days, Secretly, a lot of people are applauding, going, hey, that's great, because mm -hmm. she is a mom of two kids, and we hope that she will be a good mom. Uh, of course, the internet and bloggers have really perpetuated what you just called fame. Mm -hmm. When people sign on to fame, you're not just signing on to being an actor or doing your music for the love of it. You're signing on to, you know, a world of being in the public. Uh, and of course, since this is the internet, we invite you to share your comments on this subject just as freely as we share ours in the comments section below and we're hoping to see you next time. Thanks very much.